Hey everyone, welcome back to Yes or No Item Reviews. In this video, we are going to unbox, set up, and review the 59S UVC LED sterilizing bag. Thank you 59S for sponsoring this item to us and without you, this video would not be possible. We have time codes in the comment and description section below if you would like to skip to a certain section of the video. Let's go ahead and start with unboxing right now. So this is what the box looks like. It comes with a handle and useful pictures all around. But let's go ahead and see what's inside the box. When you unwrap everything, the first thing you see is this sterilization bag. Just by holding this bag, you can tell and feel that this bag has quality to it. When unzipping the bag, you'll find a Ziploc bag that contains this power adapter. It also comes with a user manual that is 10 pages long, but you don't have to read it because I'll read it for you. You're welcome. And finally, it comes with a partition holder that holds your stuff during sterilization. So yeah, that includes everything inside the box. So now let's look at the sterilizer a little bit more in detail. As you can see here, the cover is actually tough to remove with just one hand by itself. It's built that way because it has a magnet built inside this flap which holds the bag together for safety purposes. I know it's hard to see, but trust me, it's there. There are 12 UVC LED beads and two reflective panels on the cover, and the same amount on the base of the sterilizer which totals out to 24 UVC LED beads and four reflective panels. Going back to the front of the bag, we have the sterilizing button, and if we look at the back of the sterilizer, you'll see a power supply interface where you connect your power adapter. And if you haven't noticed already, this thing comes with a convenient handle and zippers. Now we're going to learn how to use this sterilizer. Unzip or open the cover and place the partition holder inside with the legs facing down. For this example, I'll be using my Beats by Dre headphones, and as you can see, it fits nicely in this sterilizer. To properly close it, be sure the left, right, and middle flaps are inserted inside of the bag. Then close it with the zippers. Next, we're going to take this power adapter, specifically this end right here, and we're going to plug it into the sterilizer right there. And it should look like that. Now take the other end and find your wall adapter. Mine happens to look like that. Once plugged in, listen for a beep. That beep tells you that the sterilizer is on and that the symbol lights up bright. When I did my countdown to start sterilizing, you'll notice that the light shut off. Why? Because according to the instructions, it says this. Sleeping mode will be active when no operation within three minutes, the indicator goes off accordingly. So right now it's on sleeping mode because I took too long to press it when it was previously lit. I was too busy reading the instructions for you. You're welcome. Anyways, let's press it again. So right now it's on standby mode because now the indicator is lit once again. Let's fast forward this and you'll find out that the indicator does turn off automatically after about three minutes of not using it. And now it's off again. So let's answer this question. How long does it take to sterilize an item? We're going to put the headphones back in the bag, zip it up, put it on standby mode, and this time we're going to sterilize and time it at the same time. And here we go. The blinking lights indicate that the bag is currently sterilizing, and while waiting for this to sterilize, I want to remind everyone that if you're interested in following us, we have an email, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, if you feel like helping this channel grow, please like, subscribe, and click the bell. We really appreciate you helping us out. Alright, let's fast forward this to find our answer. There it goes one minute, two minutes, and here's three minutes, and let's go back to normal speed. 3 minutes and 27 seconds is how fast this bag sterilizes. That's pretty darn fast. According to the instructions, UVC waves can reduce the unpleasant smell by decomposing the molecular structure of odors causing by bacteria. I never thought I'd smell my headphones, but I'm going to test this out. This will be my first time smelling a sterilized item and sterilized headphones. When I first smelled it, I was seriously like, dude, I gotta smell that again. So I did, and it smelled like a funeral for bacteria, or like lasers burning stuff. It's hard to explain, but it does a great job sterilizing. All right, next question. How can you tell that the bag is sterilizing? Let's sterilize my wallet and keys. If you haven't noticed already, this bag comes with a tiny little window that you could kind of see through. If you look closer, you'll see these purple lights. There's one right there, 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 another right there, and look right there. 
Those are all the UVC LED beads that are sterilizing my wallet and keys right now. So if you want proof that it's sterilizing, just look through the window. So you might be asking yourself, what happens if I open the bag while it's sterilizing? As you can see right now, the bag is sterilizing because it is blinking. This bag has a built-in safety switch, which means that the UVC LED lights will shut off when the sterilizing bag is opened. So, not only does this bag sterilize, it also cares for your safety too. Another question you might ask is, how big is this bag? Well, to answer your question, it's almost 10 inches in length, about 6.5 inches in height, about 7 inches if you're counting the handle, and the sterilizing bag is about 8 inches wide. All those are the outside measurements. You're probably wondering, what can you fit inside the sterilization bag? Well, to answer that question, we need to measure the partition holders. So you could put items that are about 9 inches in length and about 4 to 5 inches in height. Let's put some items in here to have a better vision of it. First item is a Febreze air freshener. As you can see, it fits perfectly inside this box. Let's check out the next item. It could also fit a nine ounce and a four ounce baby bottle and a toothbrush. I could have fit more toothbrushes, but it was the last one that I had. For those of you that are into audio, you could even fit the Interview Go by Rode in this box. I probably could have put the entire Rode Wireless Go set if I wanted to. Speaking of an entire set, I did a separate video of the Movo WMX1 mic set, and this whole entire set fits inside this box. Just don't open the case while sterilizing because that clearly won't zip up. And earlier, you saw my Beats by Dre headphones. You could clearly see it fits no problem even when the headphones are not folded. The DJI Osmo Pocket, the Ulanzi OP1 kit, and the DJI Osmo Mobile case all fit in the box as well. And speaking of Osmo Mobile, here's the Osmo Mobile 3. And here's the Osmo Mobile 4. I think it's awesome that they both fit in the box at the same time. And if you really wanted to, you could even fit both of the mini tripods in there. Quick question guys, is this item right for you? Let us know your thoughts and opinions by typing them in the comment section below and I'll respond back to you as soon as I can. If this item is right for you, there's a link in the description below to purchase it. If you still need more information about this item, the description section below will probably have your answer. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up click the subscribe button and click the notification bell because when you do that, it lets us know that we actually helped you out and it also helps this channel grow. Last thing, check out these other clips that are similar and related to this video to the right of your screen. Thank you for supporting us and for watching this video. Until then, we will see you at the next item.